welcome back guys welcome back welcome back in this new video i will be showing you how to draw this figure yep so our objective is at the end of this video you should know how to draw a polygon when a regular polygon when giving the when giving a length of all sides and two angles as customary it is best or recommended that you you um, observe the drawing first and then decide where to start it is highly recommended that well that you draw what is known first and then the rest will fall in place first i'll start with my base but of course before doing that i must first change to my construction layer in this case this line is horizontal so i must ensure that awesome mode is on so I left click here activate line left click drag type 440 enter enter that's done now my next step is to draw a line at an angle of a line 50 millimeters long at an angle of hmm, this should have been well this is 130 it means that 130 from 180 is 50 right yeah so my next step is to draw this a line at an angle of 50 degrees no it, it is important to know that angles are measured from from east yeah from here Angles are measured from from the from east from in an anti, in an anti-clockwise direction. It's measured from the horizontal line here up. So in this case, you need to you need to enter 150, well 180 minus 130 equal to 50. So we need to measure to enter angle of 50 degrees. So for that we to restart here. I press tab two times, one, bam, and then I enter the length of that. I want five, zero, press the tab key on the keyboard, then enter the angle I want. In this case, it's 30, three, zero, enter. Active L for line, enter. Fifty five zero tab fifty five zero and that is not done. My next step is to draw this line. This the next line from the base. So I reactivate line by tapping L followed by the enter key. Then left click here, drag a little bit. Type 35 tab 120 for the angle, enter. That is not done. Now the lower part is done. Here we do not have an angle, all we have is two lengths. One length is 50, one length is 58. What we do know, however, is that this um, from A, from this point, which is, this should be C, from here, which should be C, the length is 50, right? And from here, it is 80. Right, let me change these. C. side that is done so from here I'm going to draw a circle of radius 58 click on the circle left click at the start point type 
five eight enter that's that from e we're gonna do the same thing so spacebar to reactivate last command left click at the start point then type fifty five zero enter now at the point where both arcs meet is our point d that's where we get 50 from this side and 58 from that side our next step is to change to our outline layer deactivate orthogonal mode and you click on polyline we then left click here 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 then type C followed by the enter key to close this is now done our next step is to add our text and I'll show you how to add text there to add text we uh, just in case you haven't set up your text yeah you can do it from here one of two ways to set your text go to annotate click the drop down button here and set your text height to I want this to be about four or five let us pick four four okay close oh did I set this current I'm not quite sure if I did remember you must set this current okay you must set that current close now I can type text text enter and then left click to start rotation angle C ray is okay this is A now I need to change my text layer for my my own um, text layer first text so I type T E X T enter or I could click from here single line then left click here enter that works as well then A click here B click here C click here D then back to E then click in a space then escape that is not done yeah no, I'm, I'm gonna move this now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I could let this stay like this, or I could create a break. Yeah, so I want it to look something like this with a little art. So I type break, E R E A K, enter. And please note that break works in an anti clockwise direction. So I left click here first, then left click at this point, and that part is gone. All right spacebar to reactivate i left click here then i left click here left click here left click here and that part is gone yeah that part is gone So now this is done, to add our dimension, I will ch first change my dimension layer. Then go up to, well I could choose angle first, to click here, I could choose linear for the base, but in this case I will I'll be using a line, left click a line, I could touch both ends. And then, and then drag or I could hit space bar or the enter key a second time when this turns to a box I left click there then drag left click space bar to reactivate space bar or enter key once when it turns to a box I left click drag out then left click again space bar to reactivate one more time when it turns to a box Left click here, drag, 
then left click to place spacebar to continue left click out left click twice out so this is an advanced way of drawing of dimension in figure now that is done i want an angle here so i go up here click the drop down go down to angular and i left click here left click there we have that space bar to reactivate left click this line left click that line then i drag yeah now these sticks are a little bit too large i could scale them down one way in which you could scale them is to click onto the figure then use match property that's well match property yes or you could use properties so in this case i'm showing you something a little slightly different i will be using properties so i left click on this highlighted first then press the right mouse button then go down to properties and with properties you can change a lot of things you could change the color of the line from here you could change the arrow size will it be three you can change the text height offset from origin extend the dimension line so everything can be changed from here see the change immediately you simply press onto the top yeah so the top key let you see the changes same time instantly so see i change this that side now i typically only change one then use much property m a enter to use the source then touch 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 all that you want to change touch touch and touch escape and that is done so there we have it there we have it all very comprehensive excuse me again guys do remember to like subscribe and share good videos should be shared yeah